Hello, hello. I am making a Mario game without Mario Maker and with as little coding as possible. And in fact, today, I don't even want to get in the event sheet. Today, I am just going to goof around on this screen. Someone suggested we get more interesting platforms, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. I think something, some more interesting visuals would really help, I don't know, do them numbers. So I'm going to add a layer, first of all. I don't know if I want it above or below Mario. I'm thinking we'll do above for now. And I'm going to add a tile map. Now I've already prepared, not this one, this is the default, but I've prepared a tile map so I can show you what they're for. You can see I've got some Mario Brothers random visuals there. Now I'm going to come down here and change to this tile set. And this does pretty much what you would think it does. It works like a paint board. You can just draw whatever you've got available in the tile sheet. So I'm going to make some little platforms here. And this is good for anything that has small visual, s small components, small visual components, especially if it doesn't move. You can't really do animated parts with this. You can, but it takes a little extra effort, a couple more steps. So we've got that. Let's add a little one down here so you can see How it interacts with Mario at a at a his height level. I'll delete this in a second. Maybe I won't. I don't know. So right now it's not solid. Right now there's no collision behavior. It's just visual. Like because I put the this layer above Mario's layer, it's above him. But I can also move it below him. And the tile goes below him. So you can use that for foreground or background stuff. You can use it for multiple layered aesthetics, all kinds of things. What I'm going to do to make this into a, uh, a real object, first of all, I'm going to turn off, if I can find the option, there's an option for, there we go. That way only the layers I'm on are being highlighted or used. Now I'm going to take this background object I've or this uh ground object I've already got. This is just a basic solid. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use it where I need solid ground. And I'm gonna make these invisible. So it looks like one type of ground, but it's actually the same boring type of ground it always was. Don't tell anybody. This is deviant game designer behavior right here. So that's fun. Like if you want just want visually more interesting ground, that's that's a way to do it. And it's a way to do it that's very easy, very simple, very fast. But what if we want something that moves? What if we want something a little spicier? I'm going to start by adding a new sprite, new object. This will not just be a reuse of the previous ground. Click assign to top. There we go. So we've got this fella. And I'm going to give it a behavior that I have not used yet. That behavior, when I find it, that's what I'm looking for, sign. So sign can be used in a wide variety of ways. There's a bunch of different things you can do with it, but the most 
basic in my opinion, the simplest, the easiest, the most obvious, is this. I can make the object go up and down. Or, if you prefer, it can go side to side. And it, it really is that simple. I also give it the, instead of solid, like I normally would, we're going to go with, if I can find it. Wow, it is really taking me a long time to find it. Wow, I was already on it. I was highlighting it the whole time. Jump through. Oh my god! So jump through also does what you probably think it does. The object is solid, but only when I'm coming down on it, not when I'm coming up through it. So I can jump through the platform, unlike these objects, which I can't jump through. Now I've got a way up here, and it's really easy to tweak the size of this thing and the, the speed of this thing. Like... Very easy. Very easy. Getting it exactly... I think it went a little too fast there. Sometimes, if an object is thin enough and moving fast enough, uh, there will be some issues with Construct catching the collision. Which means I would not use Construct 3 to make Sonic the Hedgehog. But usually, <laughs> objects don't move quite this fast in a Mario game. So it's not going to be an issue. We'll probably be using a speed more like this, and that's quite fine. I have uh, never ran into an issue moving at this speed. And I don't think I could play a, a faster game these days anyway. So we've got fancy looking platforms that don't do much. And we've got a basic looking platform that can do quite a bit. But I kind of have a hankering for one more. Like, I, I, I'm a rule of threes kind of guy. I, I believe comedy, witchcraft, no matter what you're doing, there's, there's always a rule of three. So, let me think about this for a second. Alright, so what you see here is a, another new platform, just like the previous one, but while I gave the left platform sign, I have given the right platform a different behavior. The new behavior is bullet. I have left it at the default speed, because I don't know what it is. A lot. It's very fast. Um... Without going into the event sheet, I can't do much more with this. Even changing uh, the direction of it would require me to break my oath today. But you can still have a lot of fun. With just a, uh, a regular bullet platform. I mean, you can imagine an entire level around this. Not quite anything that happened in, um, that's the edge of the level. Not quite anything that was in the original Mario, but very close. Again, very, very easy, very simple. And tweaking the details beyond that in the event sheet is not super difficult either. But I said today I wasn't going to do it, so I'm not going to do it. Anyway, that's all I got today. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you and good night.